Greetings, salutations, and other big words. My name's Ethan. My handle is Wrangler. Welcome to Frequency Studios. Today, I want to talk about the Marvel character Kamala Khan. Now, she's been all over YouTube the last week because of... it. Is this even a spoiler at this point? She dies in the Amazing Spider-Man issue coming up. There's been articles and videos about it all over the place. Theories, even people outraged it, but... I mean, one of the biggest theories is they're just going to use that to resurrect her to make her more in line with her MCU counterpart, which, plausible, and I would say even probably likely. But, uh, you know, but for the most part, it's just to draw attention to the character with the upcoming film, The Marvels. Now, that's probably also true. But the reason I want to talk about this character is, well... Marvel's been trying to make her the big deal for a while now since they brought her up and it's it just hasn't worked in fact with the exception of maybe uh, SJW whack job mob on Twitter looking for any reason by which they could be offended nobody cares about this character it's just not relevant now I saw the show on uh, on the uh, Miss Marvel TV show I did watch that and just like most people reported, yeah, it sucked. It was bad. But I watched the whole thing. Why did I watch the whole thing? Because I actually found the main character of this show to be a lot of fun. As much as the show sucked, it was slow, it was boring, it was like a teen drama. The only way you could get worse than that is one of these so-called reality shows. But the main character, the personality of Kamala Khan as portrayed by Iman Vellani, was just fun. She seemed genuine. She was like playing this ner nerdy girl that, she's like a comic book nerd that gets thrust into the actual action. Is kind of, she goes to Avengers uh, uh, Comic Con style events and stuff. And then when she gets her own superpowers, you know, she kind of nerds out and screws up with them. You know, you know how all those things go. But she came across as genuine. And then I even found out that she kind of, while they were filming, called out, said, hey, this makes no sense. This breaks her own time travel rules. Because they use many worlds theory in the MCU, which means if you go back in time, you don't change your past. You just create a branch timeline. Your original reality remains unaffected. And they put her into a causality loop. And she called it out. The only way that should be possible in their physics system is with the use of the time gem, and that's it. And so, yeah, bonus. She's a nerd. Not only is she genuine, she's an actual nerd. Cool. But I found her very likable, and I don't think she's getting enough credits. I mean, the Marvels is coming up, and I don't have it much for her for that movie. But I do think that... People are overlooking this actress. I think she's going to bring something worthwhile to it. I actually intend to go see it just for Kamala Khan portrayed by Iman Vellani. You hear that, Marvel? Iman Vellani made me, me, want to be a Kamala Khan fan. All right? I know nothing about her comic book, comic book counterpart. Well, next to nothing. Here's what I do know. She's an inhuman instead of a mutant. And her powers are more of a, I guess you could say, polymorphic nature where she can alter her size and shape. She'll, like, make her fist really big while stretching her arm and, like, sock somebody. Whereas in the MCU, she, she projects and coalesces this light energy into a crystalline form that she can control. And even though those two things sound nothing alike, she kind of uses the same way. She makes this large energy fist and it stretches out and she punches someone. But... The thing is, Marvel, you've been trying to make her a big deal for a long, long time. But nobody cares. She is as irrelevant now as she was when she started. However, you went and cast Iman Vellani, and I think you got the perfect woman to play this role. I don't know anything about her personality in the comics, but how she was portrayed on screen, I really liked. Now, here's what you got to do. I think she can be a big deal, but you have to do something. You have to get some good writers and leave the politics out of it. All right? 
I know that's kind of tough for you, but you did it. You knocked it out of the park for 10 years. You could do it again. All right. You got this woman who's enthusiastic for the role. She's likable on screen. All you got to do is give us a good story. Get out of her way. And Iman Vellani could very well make Kamala Khan the big deal that you like to claim that she is. All right. Can you throw away the politics just for one damn movie and let it happen? All right. Well, you'll get a good movie out there. We'll like it. It'll look good for you. It will even potentially launch her career to the next level, which in turn could relaunch the MCU after all. A bit of a stretch maybe, but look at Iron Man. Nobody cared about Iron Man for the most part. He was a B-list character. You could take him or leave him. Then Robert Downey Jr. made him entertaining and everybody loved the character. Did the character change at all? No, it's just good attention was brought to it in a way and made him popular and that's the only reason Iron Man became relevant was because of Ronnie Robert Downey Jr. and I think Iman Vellani could potentially do the same thing for Kamala Khan but Marvel seriously you got to skip the messaging you got to skip the identity politics skip all that weirdo stuff and just give us a good story you've got a great actress here this is the potential lightning in a bottle and you're just all right I might not have much hope for the Marvels but I think she's going to make it at least worth one watch but what do you guys think does Iman Vellani have what it takes to take this irrelevant character and make her awesome let me know in the comments or maybe I'm just off my rocker it's like hey yeah she seems like a cool kid but this character hopeless just let it go I don't know what do you think let me know if you enjoyed this presentation, hit the like, and if you didn't, I appreciate you stopping by. I'll see you next time. God bless.